So then guys, the Apple iPad Pro with the powerful M5 chip is right around the corner. And this might just be one of the biggest tablet upgrades we've seen from Apple in years. With leaks, benchmarks, and even a mysterious early unboxing video surfacing online, the excitement for this next generation iPad Pro has reached a whole new level. In today's video, we're diving deep into everything we know so far. From design details and performance improvements to display changes, camera upgrades, release date rumors, and potential pricing. Whether you're an artist, student, video editor, or someone who simply wants the most powerful tablet on earth, this upcoming M5 iPad Pro could be the ultimate upgrade. Let's start with what we've seen from the most talked about leak, that unboxing video, which appeared online about a week ago. It showed what looked like a final production model of the iPad Pro M5, filmed by a Russian YouTuber. Even though Apple hasn't officially announced anything yet, this early look gave us plenty of information to analyze. At first glance, the M5 iPad Pro looks almost identical to the M4 version released earlier this year. The same thin aluminum chassis, flat edges, and precision milled speaker grills remain. Apple has clearly chosen to refine rather than reinvent the design this time. However, keen-eyed viewers noticed one strange detail, the absence of the iPad Pro engraving on the back panel. The most significant upgrade here is, without question, the Apple M5 chip. And according to multiple sources, including that early unboxing video and benchmark leaks, the new iPad Pro will feature a nine-core CPU in its base configuration. For context, that's made up of six efficiency cores and three high-performance cores, matching the structure of the bin-down M4 chip we saw last year. What this means is Apple continues its strategy of offering two chip tiers, a slightly lower-powered version for base models, and a full-fat 10-core M5 for the higher storage tiers, like the 1TB and 2TB options. Now, why does that matter? Because even the entry-level M5 iPad Pro is expected to outperform every tablet on the market, including the M4 iPad Pro, which was already overkill for most users. According to Geekbench leaks, the CPU performance has improved by around 12%, but the GPU leap is the real story here, showing an estimated 36 to 40% increase in raw graphics power. That's an incredible jump for anyone using the iPad for 3D rendering, gaming, or creative software like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Apple's been heavily emphasizing machine learning and neural processing lately, and the M5 takes this even further with an updated neural engine that works closely with the GPU. So, things like AI-powered photo editing, smart selection tools, live voice translation, and generative design tasks are going to feel smoother and faster than ever before. And here's another big win. The base model now includes 12 gigabytes of RAM, up from 8 gigabytes in the M4 model. This means multitasking, ProRes video editing, and even running AI-based apps will feel far more fluid. While some users were hoping for a bump to 16 gigabytes, this middle ground increase makes perfect sense for balancing performance and battery life. It's also worth mentioning that this aligns perfectly with Apple's upcoming A19 Pro chip, which will power the iPhone 17 Pro series. Apple is clearly unifying performance levels across its product range, ensuring smoother ecosystem compatibility between Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Storage and configuration options. Storage options look to remain the same as before. 256 gigabytes as the baseline, with upgrades to 512 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabytes for professionals who need that extra room for large media libraries or editing projects. Display, OLED continues to shine. Let's move to the display because that's an area where early leaks gave us mixed signals. For months, rumors circulated about Apple shrinking the bezels even further, possibly introducing 11.5 inch and 13.5 inch displays. But after examining the leaked footage carefully, it seems Apple might stick with the existing sizes, 11 inches and 13 inches, using the same tandem OLED technology introduced in the M4 model. If this rumor proves true, we might see the first always-on display on an iPad Pro, possibly featuring widgets or glanceable information when the device is idle, something Apple has long been experimenting with. 
camera, and face ID upgrades. No, W, let's talk about the cameras. One of the more interesting leaks we've heard this year involves the front-facing camera system. Reportedly, Apple is testing a dual front camera setup, one optimized for portrait orientation and one for landscape. If true, this would finally solve the long-standing issue of awkward video call framing when holding the iPad horizontally. For creators and business users, it could mean FaceTime, Zoom, or Teams calls look perfectly centered, no matter how the iPad is positioned. As for the rear camera system, don't expect a massive redesign. It'll likely retain the 12MP wide camera and LiDAR scanner, but with updated sensors and image processing algorithms to improve low-light performance and computational depth mapping. And with the M5's enhanced neural engine, you can expect real-time AI photo enhancements, noise reduction, and improved subject tracking, all done instantly on device, without relying on the cloud. If Apple does end up adding that dual front camera, it will mark the most significant camera change on the iPad in years and could hint at a new generation of AR capabilities coming down the line, especially with Vision OS integration in mind. Now, let's talk about software, because with iPad OS 19, or whatever Apple decides to call it, we're entering a new era of AI-assisted productivity. Apple has been teasing features like Apple Intelligence, Siri upgrades, and generative tools that work across devices. With the M5's expanded neural capabilities, you can expect new features like AI Image Assist that can colorize sketches or suggest layouts for designers. Even though the M4 model was already efficient, the M5 chip uses a second-generation 3-nanometer process, N3, which should deliver up to 20% better power efficiency. That means longer usage times, cooler performance under load, and less battery degradation over time. Early tests show that even while rendering 4K or exporting large ProRes files, the iPad remains impressively cool, a testament to Apple's refined thermal design and chipset optimization. You'll likely still get 10 to 12 hours of battery life for general use, which is more than enough for a full day of work or content creation. Connectivity and Accessories The iPad Pro M5 is also rumored to feature Wi-Fi 7 support, bringing faster speeds, lower latency, and improved performance in crowded environments. That makes a huge difference for those working with cloud files or streaming 4K HDR content. As for accessories, we're expecting updated versions of the Magic Keyboard and Apple Pencil Pro, both rumored to include haptic feedback and new gesture features. The Pencil might even include Find My support, allowing you to track it directly in the app, a feature Apple Pencil users have been requesting for years. There are also whispers of Apple developing MagSafe wireless charging for the iPad Pro lineup, though this might not debut until the M6 generation. Release date, when is it coming? Now, let's talk about timing, because that's what everyone wants to know. Based on all the signs, the M5 iPad Pro launch is imminent. So. If everything lines up, we could see an official reveal in late October 2025, with pre-orders opening within a few days and deliveries starting in early November. Pricing, what will it cost? As for pricing, Apple seems likely to keep things consistent this generation. The current M4 iPad Pro starts at $999 for the 11-inch model and $1,299 for the 13-inch version, Wi-Fi only. It's also worth briefly mentioning where this iPad sits compared to its rivals. Samsung's Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra and Microsoft Surface Pro 11 are both impressive in their own right, but Apple's hardware-software synergy continues to give it an edge in performance, app optimization, and creative workflow tools. So, should you upgrade to the iPad Pro M5? If you already own the M4 model, the jump in GPU performance, RAM, and AI features might not be essential. But for anyone coming from an M2 or M1 iPad Pro, this is a massive leap forward. You'll get smoother performance, better multitasking, faster rendering times, and the full benefits of Apple's expanding AI ecosystem. And if you're a creative professional using the iPad as your main editing or design device, those efficiency gains alone could make it worth every penny.